morning everyone welcome to Ainsley News Tuesday the 10th of August talking BTC and ETH today of course because it's crypto Tuesday strength to strength at the moment for these large caps the crypto market rallies higher as indications of a Bitcoin on-chain supply squeeze take shape and Ethereum successfully rolls out EIP 1559 I think it's otherwise known as the London Fork after breaking recent highs the two largest cryptos looked to make a run up back to the highs. Let's jump into some on-chain metrics and have a look at the driving force between or behind these moves. The Bitcoin market has seen another strong week with prices rallying 20% from lows of 37,000 US around there to a high of 45,215. The market briefly traded above the 200 day moving average of 45K over the weekend before retracing and commencing consolidation. The response of the market is usually to reject or breach the 200 day moving average. Printing above the 200 MA is typically a bullish signal and is worthwhile keeping an eye on over the coming days. This morning, it broke through it. As price action confirms underlying market strength, the on-chain response to the rally shows that Bitcoin holders are not taking exit liquidity, rather they're accumulating or hodling in the cryptoverse. Glassnode's SOPR analysis measures profit and loss realized by coins spent on-chain. In their latest on-chain report, Glassnode repeat, uh, believes that SOPR metrics have executed what looks like a textbook bullish reversal. A textbook SOPR bullish reversal is as follows, just so that you guys can keep an eye on this in the future. Point A, SOPR breaks above 1.0 after a sustained, sustained period of losses being realized on-chain. This signals profits are realized and the market was able to absorb that supply. Point B, SOPR reaches a local high. Profitable coins take advantage of market strength to spend and realize profits. This creates a local top via oversupply and the price corrects. And point C, SOPR resets back to 1.0, signaling profitable coins have stopped being spent and conviction returns to the market and the dip is bought. SOPR then trades higher, repeating the rally higher again. Here's some SOPR analysis charts here from Glassnode and how they keep an eye on things over there. The spent output age bands demonstrate that on the whole, middle age or three month to 12 month and old coins, these guys measure coin age, remain relatively dormant and are not ex existing the market since seen in 2018. The majority of spending in this cohort are younger and aged between uh, three million to six, or three months to six months of age, representing bull market buyers. These transactors may be exiting or de-risking closer to their cost basis. Overall, this metric remains fairly bullish and that urgent exit selling by old hands does not seem to be occurring. But the real exciting news of the last week is that the Ethereum network has recently rolled out the London upgrade, which includes the new fee stability mechanism or EIP1559. As part of the implementation details is a burn mechanism for the base fee portion of the transaction fee denominated in ETH. Since the launch of the London upgrade, a total of 43,600 ETH has been issued via POW mining. In that same time, a total of 15,250,000, 15 ETH has been burned, representing a 35% reduction in total net issuance. The tokenomics are therefore 35% better, essentially, overnight. How about that for rarity? With many experts believing this is the beginning of Ethereum's run-up take to take out Bitcoin as the largest cryptocurrency by market cap. Ethereum bulls point to the network recently overtaking Bitcoin in a number of metrics and its price performance relative to Bitcoin over the last year. Ethereum has soared 600% over the last 12 months, compared to only 250% for BTC. There's a chart here showing the Ethereum issuance, also showing that EIP 1559 burn that has occurred. Taking a look at the volume of ETH burned per block, we can see that so far fee pressure has pushed the burning, burning mechanism above the design to ETH issuance in a handful of instances, creating net deflationary blocks. So far EIP 1559 has a mean burn rate of 0.697 ETH per block. Ethereum's London upgrade also aims to help the blockchain scale and make surging transaction fees more manageable. The entire upgrade isn't expected to be fully realized until well into 2022, but already the upgrades are, are taking their effect on the price. 
Ethereum also recently surpassed Bitcoin in the total number of active daily addresses. And that momentum shows no signs of slowing as the network continues to power key DeFi and NFT trends. There's still a lot of room to move until we start printing new all-time highs again, but the market is certainly set up to get back there. It's not too late to jump into a market that's clearly moving from strength to strength. Remember, if you are a bit scared about entering this still relatively new space, Ainsley Wealth allows you to deal with a human who can answer your queries and explain how things work and also provide completely offline cold storage so that you don't need to worry about where to safely store it. And as we say, you don't store it in a hot wallet or on an exchange. It's asking for trouble. Keep it cold. Give us a call on 1-800-987-648. That's Ainsley Wealth. Or you can visit our website at ainsleywealth.com.au. Or you can visit us in person at either Brisbane or Melbourne. Enjoy your Tuesday, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Crypto Tuesday News. If you're still after the physical stuff, jump over to ainsleybullion.com, of course. We'll catch you on Wednesday for more news.